Lori, tell me a little bit about how you're feeling today. It's very emotional. It's just very emotional. There is, um, it's 10 years out, uh, you know, but the families whose loved ones were killed, there's just so much pain still to this day. And it's just difficult for them. And I see their pain and I just think, you know, there but for the grace of God go go my family so it's um, something that's again mixed emotions you know we're in a good place but a lot of families are not why did you all feel like you wanted or needed to be here today to support the families we wanted to be here to, you know to spend time with them and to support them in their grief and in their journey so we thought it was important to be with them. Have you all sort of become a family? Oh, absolutely. Many, many, many of the families of those who were killed and the families of those who were injured um, spend time together and communicate often and trade email or phone calls or uh, other means of support, so very much family. Yesterday for the run, there was about 16,000 people. And it was amazing. And they're expecting about 10,000 people for the ceremonies today. What is it like for you all to see so many people who have decided that they needed to be here? The support from strangers and family and friends and community has been amazing. Um, in the immediate aftermath and through all these many years, um, you know, my phone as well as Emily's have been going off constantly, thinking about you, wish we were there, you know, hearts with you, love you. You know, the support is truly, truly amazing, and it's, and it's heartwarming. What is it like for Emily to be here? You know, she wants to be here, and, um, you know, Virginia Tech was a special place to her. She went to college here, um, but, it, you know, there are parts of it that are very difficult. Where have we gone when it comes to gun control and mental health and all those things in the last 10 years? You know, we've recognized that um, there are things we can do to reduce and prevent gun violence. We haven't done them enough of them, but there, at least the recognition is there. The public supports, you know, efforts to reduce gun violence um, in poll after poll after poll. Um, we understand uh, different risk factors for persons who are at risk. Um, you know, in the Virginia Tech incident, the shooter was committed to outpatient services. They were not prohibited at that time, now they are, um, from um, accessing, purchasing a firearm. So there's a lot we've learned, and there's a lot we've done. Not um, as much in Virginia as I would have liked, but certainly across the country we've gotten a lot done. What has it been like for you to be a very big player in a lot of that change? Um, you know, I've said from the beginning, and I, I could say it today, I've just wit witnessed far too much pain, you know, from families whose loved ones were shot and killed. And um, I'll do anything I can to, you know, save other families from that pain. You know, it's all about moving for forward and preventing future gun violence. And I think we can do more. Where do we go from here? What's left to be done? We have um, a number of um, available tools that we can give to family members. Um, one of them is, you know, there's a family members whose loved ones might be in crisis. They might not rise to the level of a, an adjudication and a commitment, but they're certainly suffering and at risk of harm, self-harm. In a lot of cases, suicide is on the rise, but suicide by firearm is on the rise in Virginia. So we want to give family members those tools to help um, them in those times of crisis, i.e. separate their loved one from their firearm. It's called a protective order, you know, uh, gun violence protective order. Some people call it a crisis protective order. It's, it's a temporary um, ban on firearms for per people in crisis so that they don't self-harm or harm to others. Anything else that I missed that you want to add? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. Get a couple quick back to back. Just chatting.